This week, new research for the BBC showed that Middlesbrough on Teesside has the local economy least able to withstand public sector cuts. Depressing stuff. But as Max Cotton found out, the town's tough guy mayor, the man who must decide what to cut and what to keep, isn't taking it lying down. This is Ray Mallon. The Red Tops call him Robocop. As a top bobby, he used to scare the bejesus out of the Benton Crooked. But today he's older, a bit greyer, and he's got a bad back. This area, it's, um, it epitomises what we're all about, the regeneration of people. Right. That's what the tasks he faces now, though, are every bit as daunting as they used to be. Mallon is Mayor of Middlesbrough. It's a tough job. There are hundreds of derelict homes in the town centre. Spending cuts threaten to bring Middlesbrough to its knees. But the first thing you notice about Robocop is that he refuses to be pessimistic. Oh, you've been well, of been being realistic. We have the biggest financial crisis since the 1930s. Yes. You of all people are in the one place in Britain which is most vulnerable. Yes to cuts in public services. But I'm going to show you percent of the people who live in Middlesbrough yeah. work for the public, uh, work in the public sector. But what do you expect you to do? You don't very well no, about no, it. What, what, what do you expect me to do? Become paralysed. Are you worried that, about it? No, I'm concerned about it. But this is the bottom line. Camry and Osborne, they've got all the cards. Middlesbrough is less able to cope with cuts in public expenditure than any other council in England. Why is that? Well, here are some of the criteria. It has the third highest number of people living on benefits. 10% of the population have no educational qualifications at all. For those with a job, four out of 10 work in the public sector, and it has the eighth highest crime rate in England. If you're born in one of the poorer parts of this town, you're likely to have a low birth weight, and you're likely to die young. At the town hall, Ray has arranged for me to meet a group of community workers who discuss priorities. That's easy. Everything's a priority. You're talking about anti-social behaviour, it's building up because we have houses all boarded up and things like that. Right. What I want for Middlesbrough is to stand out as a beacon and say, we're going to champion these people. This is how we treat our elderly, our disabled, our carers in Middlesbrough. One of the things I'm interested in uh, for a second now is that there are a group of people around this table who all care passionately about what goes on in their communities yes. and it's not going to be like that. And I haven't heard you say that. That, that just isn't true what you've said. Really? No, no, not at all. For example, social services in this town, the older people, the vulnerable people, you know, the disabled people, they were all to be looked after. It's all the other things that might be termed as long term, so for example, teenage pregnancies, we might not be able to divert, which, divert as much resource towards that subject, which is very important, to what we've been doing in the past. If long term projects do suffer, then so will people like teenage mums, Claire and Levi, and Levi's baby Farah. <laughs> <laughs> At the moment, they get help from council funded projects like Connections. Levi, tell me yeah, about how the help you've had then here. We've helped me with everything, with anything possible, housing, benefits, going on to apprenticeships, mm. training. You get your challenges working in this town because there's a lot of young people who face a lot of challenges um, and I think that this work is essential. My future, no connections, will be a future. What I've got to do is the, the elected mayor, and I don't think I'm doing a bad job at it, I'm selling this town as a product. I want to bring the private money in here. Cameron should be delighted. I want to get more private investment into this town. The engine room is the town centre. I'm dragging the people in, getting to spend so money. So you're just the refusing to be... I mean, I I'm, I'm accusing you of not being realistic, basically, Ray. That's what well, I'm saying to I'm you. Saying, you. Are you being realistic? No. Then what you're saying to me is, is I'm not going to be paralysed. You don't want to be paralysed by this. Is that right? I'll tell you what to do. Max, come back in a year's time. This town will still be moving along in spite of the recession, in spite of the social problems, because we have to. Now, the alternative for me to be is to be really negative as though let's throw the towel in, you know, and that's the way that it is. No. 
The mayor must get his optimism from somewhere. Perhaps it's from the people here, who he says he wants to regenerate. This week, I've met plenty of them. Without exception, they're great. And Max will be returning to Middlesbrough in the weeks ahead as